what's going on guys and welcome back to another video and uh, this is a little quick video I'm going to be covering the bubble tool for modeling uh, which is this right here uh, it's really easy uh, you know it works in all modes you have your point mode your edge mode and the face mode and uh, the bubble, bubble tool works in all three it's really useful uh, you know you can make uh, rounding on your edges or your faces and so on and uh, it really gives you a nice uh, subdivision uh, before you, for example, put it into uh, the subdivision surface, uh, you can subdivide your edges. So let me just show you a few things you can do. And uh, this is going to be a really short video because this tool is really uh, straightforward and it works uh, really good with the extrude tool. Uh, they kind of go hand in hand. And these two tools, uh, you know, use the most pretty much when you're modeling. Uh, so if I, I'm in my uh, face mode right now, so what you can do is uh, extrude first, you know, select your... Uh, face extrude by holding command and then you can uh, bevel this face all you have to do is click on the bevel tool and just like this you can start beveling uh, your face like this as you can see it gives you all kinds of subdivisions you can go enter beveling and I have I have my uh, subdivision set to 5 so let me just bring it down to 1 so you can bevel inside you can bevel outside and then from there you can uh, you know continue extruding. Uh, so that's for the faces, really easy, you know, really handy. You can do all kinds of stuff. Um, for the uh, for the edges, uh, let me just click UL, which is uh, loop selection, and select this uh, top loop, and uh, just go back to my beveling tool. And as you can see, it, it starts beveling and gives us this uh, this rounding. And then you can come in here and uh, play around with subdivision, you know, how much subdivisions you want. And then you can inverse the depth as well. So you can go uh, like this or 100%. And you can also play around with rounding. And, uh, and then uh, you have uniform, radial, and uh, patch, which sometimes, you know, uh, the bevel tool breaks your geometry a little bit. Play around with topology and... Uh, you know, try to fix it, but if not, you know, you can always delete your edges or polygons and patch it up with the polygon pen tool. Uh, so that's for the edges, really easy, really simple. You just, you know, select your edge, or you, you don't even have to select it, you just go to your bevel tool, and then it's going to give you this uh, preview or the highlight on which edge you want to bevel, and then you just click and drag, and as you can see, it bevels it for you. And uh, when I said, uh, you know, top topology, uh, breaks your topology, as you can see, we get this kind of triangle here. Uh, so you can go down to topology and uh, play around. As you can see, you have uniform, radial, patch, and then they have the ending. You know, you have extended, which extends all the way to the point. Or you have uh, default and so on. But if you have something like this, then, you know, you don't want this triangle. All you have to do is uh, dissolve. Uh, the edge right here and it goes back uh, to normal and then you would just have to cut you know make your own cuts from uh, the edges you created maybe something like this so now you have a cleaner result from what you had before and that's uh, that's for the edges it's about it you know it just uh, pretty much rounds your edges really simple there's nothing really uh, special to it let me just undo this and for the points same thing if you uh, select your uh, bubble tool highlight on a point and bubble it gives you this kind of rounding it's not really clean I would say you know it's better to round on your own but you can obviously you know get this effect going but it kind of gives you a lot of uh, not really clean geometry so it's better to uh, just you know make your own roundings uh, manually uh, but th this can come in handy so for example if you want to like uh, make a hole in the mesh like in the middle you can uh, let me just highlight this point right here go my bubble tool as you can see you can do something like this and then uh, inverse uh, the uh, depth and then bring down the subdivision to something like uh, 2 and now you can come back uh, delete these points right here because they're not needed and you have this clean little hole in your mesh 
So, you know, the, the bevel tool and the points come in handy sometimes. Uh, and, uh, you know, you can support your edges by using the knife tool. If you subdivide, uh, your, uh, your hole in the mesh will stay. So let me just show you an example here. And I'm using the knife tool, by the way, to make my uh, cuts. And then let me just throw, throw that in the subdivision surface. And as you can see, let me just, we have this nice clean hole. So the bubble tool and points, you know, really comes in handy. And you don't really have, uh, you know, that many options for the bubble. It's pretty much face, edge, and point. And then you have your offset. You can play around with offset. And then you have your uh, subdivisions, depth, and uh, you know topology and shaping. You can play around. You know if you if you don't, don't like the rounding uh, the the bevel is giving you, you can switch to user, and then you have this graph here. You can pretty much you know set up your own rounding. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, hopefully this video helped you in any way. Uh, you know the bevel tool is really simple and it works the best with the extrude. So you go to your uh, you know, faces, extrude, then go to your bevel, go to your edge mode, UL for uh, loop selection, select your edges, and round just like this. Uh, so anyway guys, uh, in my upcoming video I'll cover the extrude mode, or extrude tool, and uh, I'll just be going down the list and uh, cover all the tools in Cinema 4D, and hopefully um, you know, show you how they're they're used and uh, give you some kind of idea, so it makes you it makes it easier for you to model. Anyway, guys, subscribe, uh, leave it a like on this video, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. See ya.